When driving normally, spring brakes are usually supported by air pressure. The brake retarding distance at 55 miles per hour with air brakes on dry pavement is 32 feet. Excessive heat caused by frequent use of brakes can also cause that the brakes weaken or fail. When is it okay to leave your vehicle unattended without applying the parking brakes and without locking the wheels? Never. If your vehicle has an evaporator each day in cold weather, you should Check and fill the alcohol evaporator. If you have to make an emergency stop, break so that you can steer so that your vehicle is in a straight line. Your truck or bus has a dual pneumatic brake system. If a low air pressure warning sign appears in one of these systems, what should you do? Stop the vehicle safely. Continue only after the system has been repaired. Incompletely releasing and depressing the brakes can result in loss of brake air pressure. On vehicles with air brakes, the parking brakes must be used every time you park. It is not very safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with a with cracks that are longer than 12 the width of the friction area. I'm going to repeat the question. It is not very safe to drive a vehicle that has a brake drums with cracks that are longer than 12 the width of the friction area. Why should water be emptied from the tanks of an air compressor? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brakes to fail. The proper use of the brakes when on a large downhill descent after you have selected your own gear is to brake until your speed reaches 5 miles per hour below the speed indicated for your safety and release the brakes. Emergency or parking brakes on trucks or buses can legally be held by pressure from spring. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that has no escape, such as spring pressure. Your truck or bus has dual air brakes. If a low air pressure warning appears for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and check the remaining system while you are en route. The driver must be prepared to observe the low air pressure warning sign that appears before the pressure in the service air tanks drops below 60 PSI. Repeating the question, the driver must be prepared to observe the low air pressure warning sign that appears before the pressure in the service air tank drops below 60 PSI. The most important thing to do when the low tire pressure warning sign appears is stop and park safely as soon as possible. Your vehicle has a dual air brake system and one of the system loses pressure. What can happen? Either the front or rear brakes will not work. To examine the service brakes, you must brake firmly while slowly moving forward. The most common type of braking devices used on heavy vehicles is S-cam brake drum. Using the brakes on a long steep slope 
under normal conditions is only a supplement to the braking effect of the engine itself. If the spring brakes are on, when should the brake pedal be pressed? Never. If air pressure does not build up at the correct time, then the air pressure may drop to a low point when you are driving requiring an emergency stop. In a vehicle with air brakes, the parking brakes must be used whenever you leave your vehicle unattended. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What could happen if you do not maintain the proper alcohol level? Reduce the risk of freezing air brake valves during cold weather. Which of these is not the most appropriate time to apply the parking brakes? Brake the vehicle very hard when the vehicle is going downhill. The air compressor pressure switches controls when air is pumped into air tanks. Intelligent emergency braking is Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, then apply the brakes fully again when the wheels start rolling. Your brakes are weakening when you have to press the brake pedal harder to control your speed on a downhill slope. Under normal conditions and to engage the parking brakes, the driver must release air from the air brake system, the air compressor to pump air must be at 125 PSI. The safety valve reduces the pressure to 100 PSI. The free play of the manual tension adjusters need to be adjusted if it is more than 1 inch when pulled hard. The air brakes of a straight bus or truck must not leak air at a rate of more than 2 PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. If your vehicle does not have an automatic drain tank, when should the drain the oil? Wait, when should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of the air compressor supply tank? So let me repeat the question. If your vehicle does not have an automatic drain tank, when should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of the air compressor supply tank? At the end of each driving day. If your truck's dual tire brake system and minimum air tank size are working properly, the air pressure should rise to 85 to 100 PSI. In how many seconds? 45 seconds. Using the applied pressure gauge shows you how much pressure it's applying to the brakes. It is understood that brakes when used very frequently can also cause brakes weakening or fail. Under ideal conditions, a truck or bus with an air brake going 55 miles per hour may require a full stopping distance. How many feet? More than 300 feet. Spring brakes used on a straight truck's chamber will cause them to stop when the air pressure drops to 20. When the brakes are pressed, the brake shoes align to press against the brake drum or disc. 
Why drain water from air tank compressor? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Your truck or bus has dual air brakes. If a low air pressure warning appears for only one system, what should you do? Safely stop and park your vehicle immediately. Continue only when the system is repaired. Brake light switch. Turn on your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Why should water be emptied from the tanks of an air compressor? Again, water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. If you need to make an emergency stop, you must brake so that you can steer your vehicle so that it is in a straight line. Excessive use of the service brakes causes overheating that can cause. Brake drum expansion. The S cam. Press the brake shoes against the inside of brake drum. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the emergency or parking spring brakes to move a short distance. The brake pedal in a pneumatic brake system controls the air pressure placed on the brakes. Your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator. This is for This is to prevent ice from forming in the air tank storage, which could cause failure. To check the free play of the manual tension adjusters on the S cam brakes, park at a flat surface, shock the wheels, and disengage the parking brakes. The safety valve is activated automatically when the pressure is 150. How should you find out if your service brakes are working properly? Park on level ground, wait for the air pressure to normalize, releasing the braking pedals. Um, and move slowly around 5 miles per hour, then apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. The braking system that presses and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Emergency. An air brake system on a straight truck or bus must not leak air at speeds greater than 2 PSI per minute, with the engine off and the brakes not applied. Air brakes take longer than hydraulic brakes because air brakes longer to flow through the tubes than hydraulic fluid. So air takes longer to flow through the tubes than hydraulic fluid. Modern air brake systems combine three different systems. These are service brakes, parking brakes, and brakes emergency. The supply pressure gauge shows you how much pressure there is in the air tanks. The braking potential of spring brakes depends on the brake service being adjusted. The stopping power of spring brakes depends on whether the server brakes are adjusted. The driver must be prepared to observe the pneumatic pressure warning sign that appears before the pressure in the service air tanks drops below 60 PSI. Repeating the question, the driver must be prepared to observe the pneumatic pressure warning sign that appears before the pressure in the service air tank drops below 60 PSI. 
the air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes pressed should not be greater than 3 PSI in one minute. When the brakes are applied, the brake shoes pressed against what? The brake drum or disc. Why should water be emptying from the tanks of an air compressor? Water can freeze hard in cold weather and cause damage to your brakes. The safety valve is automatically discharged at the pressure of 150. The total stopping distance with air brakes is greater than the distance with hydraulic brakes due to the distance of brake delay distance. The supply pressure gauge shows you how much pressure there is in the air tank. An air brake system is fully charged at how many PSI? 100. If you need to make an emergency stop, you must brake so that you can direct your vehicle and have it stay in a straight line.